Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Fujitsu ScanSnap Quick Menu, what it is and why and how you might want to disable it. If you use ScanSnap for any length of time, you've probably seen this menu before. It's called the Quick Menu and it's on by default for the ScanSnap. What, it lets, what happens is when you put a document in the scanner and hit scan, this menu will pop up and it allows you very quickly and easily to scan to a bunch of different applications like to a folder, to a printer, to email, if you have the ScanSnap S1100, you can scan to Evernote or Google Docs. And if you have a Mac or Windows, you can scan to these other applications as well. Now, the nice thing about the quick menu is it's very easy. You just have to hit one button. You can do a bit of configuration. For example, for, e for many of these applications, you can, if you hover over it and click below it, there's a setting application. And you can see you can scan, you can set some other settings. There's also some general configuration you can do for the quick menu itself, which we'll look at now. If you're on a Mac, go to the dock and find the ScanSnap Manager icon. If you're on Windows, it'll be in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen in your system tray. Right-click on it and go to Settings. From there, you can see that there's these four buttons here. And that's the configuration that you can do with the quick menu. It's got a set of recommended settings you can go small file and from there you can see it changed the image quality. You can go high quality, again changing the image quality. Or if you want to have a customized setting, hit customize and you can set it however you like. There's a limited number of options that you can set, but you can also see that the application tab is grayed out. So you can see that with the quick menu you can configure a few things, but once you start using your ScanSnap a lot, I actually recommend that you disable the quick menu. The reason for that is if you have different types and configuration as a document, it can be a pain to go into the quick menu settings and change things every time. Also, once you have stacks of documents, you can set profiles up in a certain way that allows you to just throw in a stack and hit go and it will automatically scan things the way that you want it to. Also, if you use a different application instead of the ones that are pre-programmed, you'll need to turn off the quick menu to, in order to change that. And finally, just setting up a bunch of predefined profiles will just make everything faster, in my opinion anyway. So what you want to do is uncheck this checkbox here that says Use Quick Menu. And once we uncheck it, you'll see that the Application tab opens up. So I'm going to hit Apply. And once I do that, when I right click on ScanSnap Manager again, you can see I have a, some new options that were grayed out before, Profile and Profile Management. So when I click on Profile, you'll see that I, these are ones that I had already set up, but you have a lot more options where how to set things. And when we go back to Settings, we now have the Application tab that we can change things. So that's a very quick men overview of the Quick Menu. If you want to learn more, Go to documentsnap.com, and if you're interested, you can check out my unofficial ScanSnap setup guide, or just read through the blog. There'll be a lot of helpful tips. Thanks a lot.